Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to sell tickets on GoDaddy website in 2024. So today we're going to learn how to sell tickets on your GoDaddy website, whether you are hosting a concert, workshop, or even seminar. Offering tickets directly through your website can streamline the process and boost your sales. So follow this step-by-step -step guide to set up the ticket sales on your GoDaddy website in 2024 so let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you will need to go and open a browser for me here i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want once you open that browser basically go to this url section here you'll need to type godaddy of course you'll need to go to godaddy.com once you do so you'll find yourself on the main website right away if you're already logged in into your account, you'll find like your username here at the top right corner, like me. If you don't, you'll find a sign in option here. Click on it to sign in into your account. If you have an account, and if you don't have an account, if you click here on sign in, you'll find at the top, uh, at the bottom, a sign up option, and so you can create an account if you don't have one. You'll be able to use Facebook, Microsoft, and even Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. Of course. Once you are here, first of all, we will need to go and access the website that we want to sell tickets on or, as an example, create a new one. So, as an example, here I'll just go to website and click on website builder. Let's just go and create a new website. Why not? I'll just go here and click on start for free. As you can see, no credit card required. Uh, so, once I click there, all I need to do, as you can see, pick up what's your left example if you want to just complete one of the sites uh, that you have. And you can start a new site. You can even see more sites, of course, if you have that you have. So for me, I'll just go and start a new one and create a new one. So first, what are your main goals? We will use this, of course, uh, to suggest features for your project. So as an example, a list customer book appointments, start a basic website, share my info about. So as an example, sales goods and services. Why not? Because I want to sell tickets. So choose as many as you like. Uh, how do you want to sell? As an example, my websites. And how much about, uh, or how uh, much do you make in sales per year? I'm just getting started, as an example. And I'll just type here tickets and see. So yeah, ticket sales, and then click on continue. So what should we call your business? I'll just name it Omic, uh, Omics uh, Sales, why not? Click on continue. And here is an example. If you want people to like contact you, Make sure to fill up your informations as an example, maybe like like that. If you can even add like a, if you have a physical address, you can simply add it. If you don't, no need. Then click on continue. And as you can see, now they are creating my website. So I'll just wait. I have to do nothing. As you can see, I just answered some few questions and they created my website for me right away. As simple as that. So what sections would you like uh, on your website? So as you can see, First of all, let's just go and clear all of those sections. Now, just keep clicking on this eye and you'll be able to see this section. So if you want to add, add add about like section, so about like maybe the place of the tickets, maybe it's a football game or something like that, photo gallery as an example of that place, uh, of that ticket as an example. If you want to add it, add it, contact us. If you want to add it, add it, subscribe. If you want them to subscribe somewhere. Introduction also. Uh, feature category, menu plus price slate, uh, a list as example, online payments as example, and even frequently asked questions. So if you want to add all of that, make sure to add them. If you want to add anything, just check it out. If you don't, don't check it out. Then click on continue to my site. Once you do so, you will find yourself on your site right away. So here, of course, you can take a tour if you don't know nothing about website building. It will take you like 30 seconds. For me, I'm not going to. So here, as you can see, that's going to be my website. So if you go here to the shop page, as an example, let's set up your online store. Get started by adding products to your store. For me, I'll add products, which is going to be sales. So you can add products manually or AI will turn up 20 products images into unique listings to your store if you want to. So for me, I'll just go and add products manually. So for me here in the name, I'll just name it tickets, uh, show as an example, description, uh, I'll just not name it tickets for a uh, football game as an example. 
like that price i'll just put ten dollars why not products category category you can add this you can list this as it is whatever you want image i'll just add a random image that i have on my pc or something i can find like maybe in here uh, okay i'll just add something for my pc i'll just add maybe this one why not it's very random of course for you make sure to add like everything accurate for me i'll just fill up some random informations click on insert in here and inventory sku of course and quantity of course track inventory quantity on hand so how many tickets do you have maybe as an example i have ten thousand tickets and products uh, variety so as an example you can add some uh, va variants like as an example vip if you want to add vip and the options you'll uh, for me as an example for you make sure to add all the options that vip has for me uh, vip like features i'll just type that why not so features right here and then click on save the price of course uh, let's say examples will be doubled and yeah visibility should be visible and shipping no no shipping because it's tickets extra details if you want to add in extra details no need i'll just click on save and the product should be added to my store right away so as you can see ticket show will be appearing here now you can add as example if you normally sell or sell or sell like tickets here on your website you can add multiple tickets like for example this for the football game this for a basketball game this for a baseball game and etc you can add as many as you want and you can also uh, customize like the background you can customize everything like the fonts the text everything icons everything that you want you can create a lot of things if you know if you want to like know how to add some things i've already made a videos a lot of videos on how to build your website of course you can go and check it out by your own and as you can see there's going to be the ticket so for me i'll just go and click on preview so an example tickets i'll just click on it so there is a vip if section if someone wants vip if no one wants the vip of course uh, you're not going to select it and that's it simply as an example let's say i want to select it and quantity you can choose as many as you want then click on add to cards of course i cannot add to cards because i'm just previewing and check if everything is working make sure to check it for the website for the mobile users also check everything is working for them if it is all you need to do just publish your site and of course it will be, it will be published on this uh, url that is given you here as you can see in here if you didn't like it you can connect your own custom one if you want to if you click in here you'll be able to view the site and check if everything is working as an outsider as an example and you'll be good to go so that's gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye